Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. This is a posture where we do in a lunge. So for that, get to Adho Mukha first. Stepping back, one leg at a time. Palm separated, shoulder width apart, feet separated, hip width apart. Now get your right foot to the front, close to your right palm. Even after you step, there is good enough distance between your feet. That is offline stance. Then place your back knee down, ankle flat. After that, to adjust the knee, you can lift the knee for a while and place it down again. And check the front knee and heel in one line. Not lifting the hip high. Make sure that lunge is taking place, hip staying low. Once you are here, you can place your palms onto the front knee. Move your chest away. See that you are not standing here like this. Most of us try to do this because there is good amount of stretch on the left hip. In order to compensate that, they do this. But you are going to work on moving your hip low but the chest expansion. Don't worry on stressing the lower back. Create more expansion in the chest. Once you are stable here, inhale, extend arms up, expansion in your chest more. If you are comfortable, look up ears and shoulders away from each other keep sinking your hip low arms moving up and back once you're here for more few breaths make sure your back ankle is firm less weight on the knee more on the back ankle exhale come down tuck your back foot again lift your knee step back to adho mukha now, stepping your left foot forward, close to the left palm and right knee down, foot down and lift the knee for a while, place it down again. Those who have back conditions can just simply stay here. You don't have to do anything. Stay here, improves your hip flexibility. If you're comfortable lifting both arms, absolutely. Otherwise, you can just keep one palm on the knee and then other arm extended this way this is a slightly easier version of Ardha Chandrasana but the chest expansion hip sinking down once you're done for few breaths holding there exhale hands down tuck your back foot lift the knee step back to Adho Mukha and place your knees down sit back to child's pose for few breaths walk your hands back and come up to standing position that was Ardha Chandrasana so avoid if you have any hip related injuries here also low back injuries but it's a very good asana to improve your hip flexibility improves that mobility around this area and also gives that good length to your upper chest